So welcome back to my channel. This is Gamer Dom, and I wanted to bring uh, to your attention, if you hadn't already seen them, um, a new range of 3D printed vehicles, Second World War vehicles. I think he also does First World War, but anyway, um, I'm only looked at um, Second World War versions at the moment. It's a new company called Paint and Glue Miniatures. Uh, picked up on him, um, he was asking for help on one of the Facebook pages I'm a member of. Uh, for people to check out and test out his website um, when he launched, when he was about to launch the company and um, he um, subsequently did launch uh, this month, this month March um, and I thought I'd try it out and see what his vehicles are like um, 28mm um, vehicles printed so this here is the T28 Russian medium tank this is for a future project that I'm working on I'm going to start working on very soon now. I've just about finished all my Germans and Japanese. Um, it's a really tough model to get. Um, there don't seem to be very many for some reason. It's a really powerful tank. I want to build a Russian early war um, vehicle, um, um, army based around um, 1939 in Manchuria um, against the Japanese. And... Um, I, think I wanted to feature one of these things, T28s, um, and I thought, well, let's give it a go. And so I bought this thing, and I don't know whether you can see the detail on it. It's actually extremely good. Um, turrets are removable, as is this fella, which is good, and therefore obviously rotate nicely, as do the front machine gun turrets. And I was really, really impressed with this. Now, as with all uh, 3D printed vehicles, you do get the lines. You can just see the the lines around the edges here, um, where the layers have been built up and built up and built up. But actually, you know what? They're not bad at all. They're, they're much finer than I was expecting them to be. And that's really, I think that's a really good model. Now, bear in mind, this thing, is 15 pounds that's pretty darn good right 15 quid for a 28 millimeter t28 so i went to town really <laughs> literally um no, not sure about the bright colors <laughs> it's like a dinky toy but obviously this is just the the printed version this is a german staff car heavy staff car and i wanted one of these because i thought it'd be quite useful if it gives me options basically from my german army Again, really nice detail. The the build up on the on where the printing's happened is not actually too bad. I've actually given that a little bit of a sand down, but even so, it's not that bad. Um, seven pounds, seven quid. So in for a penny, in for a thirty quid. Um, <laughs> again, look at the colours. Wow, um, Panther. Don't know that I'll ever use a panther in my bolt action army, but you know, I thought, well, for how well, much of this one cost me? Ten pounds. I thought, hmm, let's give it a go. Again, you can see where the thing's built up, but it's really not as marked as it is on some of the vehicles I've seen. So for ten quid, if it's not going to be something I use a lot. I think that's pretty good. And finally, because like all good war gamers, I overdo it on everything. Um, I bought myself a, a 41M Turan for my possible future Hungarian project. Again, nice little model, and you know it matches up scale-wise nicely with the Panther. I reckon that's pretty darn good. Um, Turan seven pounds so at the moment he's got uh, all the major nations uh, British German Russian um, American how else has he got he's got some Japanese I think um, Polish if you're looking for cheap Polish vehicles then they're there um, so really really nice and bonus still at the moment through March 2019 there's a 25% uh, reduction on everything 
So my £10 Panther actually cost me £7.50. Bargain. Anyway, more importantly, let's spray them up, paint them up, and I'll show you at least what one of them, or maybe two of them, look like after that. So there you go, a couple of days later, and painted up. Looks pretty okay, I think. I mean, I think that will do nicely on my tabletop. That's the heavy scout car. Light's making it a bit shiny. It's not that shiny in reality, but um, yeah, good, easy model. Cheap, <laughs> cheap, but doesn't look overly cheap. I've put a couple of transfers on I had from some earlier kits that I had elsewhere just to make it up, put a sort of camo, late war camo-ish type fit. It's a bit darker than I planned to be, but hey, that's more my painting than the model. Um, also did the Panther. That was that wonderful blue and yellow thing. I think that's not bad at all. And you can still see a little bit of the ridging where it's built up. But you know what? That's under a really strong light. Um, I don't think that will show up on the tabletop. And I did try and sand some of it down with a, with a bit of sandpaper, but um, varying degrees of success. But you know what? What do you think? I think that's all right. I think that's all right. Quite pleased with that. Quite pleased with the truck. Just got the other two to do, so let me remind myself the price of these things. So the truck, uh, for, the, for the staff car, the Kumpf Prunz Kampf 21 staff car, which I think is a heavy staff car in the bolt action uh, parlours, £7 for that little thing. Uh, the Panther Alf uh, A is £10. Yeah, and I know it's not it's not a, a you know Rubicon model or a um, a Warlords model, but you know what? It costs about a third of the price. And if you remember at the moment, um, paints and glue miniatures are also offering twenty five percent off. So that seven pound fifty, and I think for seven pound fifty for a tank, I rarely will probably use, but I'd love to have it in my collection if I do it ever if I did ever want to try it out in bolt action be fantastic my one criticism slight criticism is the barrel looks very chunky for a 75 pounder um if you compare it to well, i suppose that's another 75 i don't know anyway those are the ones i've still got to do um that's the uh, i haven't started my russian project so i didn't rush off and paint that one up and my hungarians are still with the crowd uh funding or kickstarting program so uh, that'll be for when that comes out but you know what seven pound fifty uh what's a third a quarter off seven pounds uh blah 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 call it eight uh, about five and a half pounds for that uh, at the moment through march while um they're getting up and running and offering a 25 percent off i think that's a real bargain so get over there try it out um i'm really impressed with the standard so much so i think i'm going to order a few more um, because why not at that price anyway thanks for watching hope you found it useful and interesting if you did oh not endorsed by this by paints and, and glue miniatures by the way this is just purely I bought these things um, because I happened to see it pop up on the Facebook page and I thought yeah give it a go um, and if I'm honest he was offering 25% off and also I've been looking for a t28 somewhere um but um none i really liked this looks a fabulous model so anyway there you go so i hope you found it useful and interesting if you did please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so um try and feature all sorts of wargaming things um gameplay when i can uh, rule reviews like i've done with the uh, rebels and patriot rules recently um really uh, bolt actions where I started it so I guess that will be the domination of the channel but um, keep keep watching out we've got um, I'm probably playing some uh, black powder soon so that may well feature on the channel so thanks for watching enjoy your games have fun enjoy whatever you're doing and I'll see you again soon this is Gamer Dom signing out mm -hmm.